happening here? So, um, people are just starting to gather here to uh, express their uh, opinion of Walmart. And uh, just had uh, someone from security tell us to keep our signs off of uh, the uh, log cabin property. We just made it clear, though, why we're here to express our opinions. It's an open house, um, and we'll be having folks uh, walking on public property with signs um, showing what we, uh, how we feel about Walmart. So I think we're going to have a good time. So this is uh, the protest that's organized by your organization, Western Mass Jobs with Justice? So yeah, I, I work for Western Mass Jobs with Justice, but also um, this is representing a, a coalition called Stop, um, Stop Walmart in Holyoke. We have folks from Holyoke First, which are folks who live uh, near the proposed site who are opposing this. Um, so we're actually representing a whole bunch of community organizations. We have folks from Jobs with Justice. We have uh, people who live in the vicinity of Walmart. We have a Carpenters Union who are out here in force. And we really expect uh, a lot of other folks to come out because of how important this issue is to us and to Western Mass. So this is Patrick Burke, who's yeah. with Western Mass Jobs with Justice, working on building the coalition. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks, Paki. Okay. So who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Terry, spokesperson for Hoyoke First. I'm one of the abutters that's going to be yeah, greatly okay. affected yeah, right. by yeah, right. yeah, Walmart yeah. being across yeah, the street from us. Uh, the protesters are starting to gather. They've been told by security you may not go on the property of the log cabin. Could you tell me who you are and what you're doing here? Uh, my name is Daniel Maleo. I'm here to try to stop Walmart from coming to Holyoke. Do you live in Holyoke? I sure do. Yeah. So I hear a lot of people say, look, we hate their practices, but they make cheap things that we can't afford otherwise. What's what's your answer to that? Well, that, that's a good question. I mean, I. That's probably something I'd have to think about for a minute. I mean, paying, paying less for things is great. I mean, I, I have a, I make a decent living. I, I prefer to pay less for things, but I also care about the people who are creating those things. I'd like them to make a decent wage and to be able to buy the type of things that I'm trying to buy. So by not buying at Walmart, we're helping to hopefully achieve that. And it's not about the just, it's not just about the few, it's trying to help the many is, a, is kind of the way I'm looking at it. Thanks, Daniel. So there's some of the protesters in front of the log cabin. More are gathering. The raging grannies are starting to gather. So there are lots of folks driving by who are supporting the protesters. And uh, the protesters are out here with all their signs saying, we all want to pay lower prices, but not at the expense of the workers. So I'm going to talk to a couple of the Western Mass Raging Grannies. So what are the Raging Grannies doing here at this Walmart protest? Why, where else would Raging Grannies be but at a Walmart protest? It's the right place to be. Any other comments, Ann? We, um, I certainly don't shop at uh, Walmart. And one going into Hadley, uh, Holyoke, especially one of these mega stores. So, there you have it. Well, it's interesting what you said about how a lot of stuff that Walmart comes from sweatshops are horrid conditions, okay? Shopping at this Walmart till it treats its workers well. And if Walmart won't make changes, it can just go.
go straight to hell. Start off with cheap phone prices. It'll to soon be phones and prices. No, no, no. And other stores Where'd she go? Okay, Diane. Diane, let's sing as we walk. Okay, the. Uh, Have a nice night. Hi. The Kmart, five times a week. Those two places are going to be. They'll, they'll be out. Right. Kmart got closed where they can. Right. Well, you guys keep up the good spirit. Thank you. Have a good night now. You know what? But you don't have to work at Walmart. Right. If you're in a city you, full you, of poverty, but if you have all the stores, if all the stores all close gotta, because of Walmart, then I would have to shop at Walmart. Can we sing a song all, and maybe he'll all, sing with all you, and all you have to do is get, get in a, touch with Obama and he'll give you food oh, stamps. Yeah. So Walmart is giving food and drink. Hey, thank you. This is their... Did you say that again? No, I, I, I downtown north. You know what I'm going to do? Just talk to you. Tell me what you just said. And I'm going to just be getting the pictures of the place. So, I, so you were talking about working at Walmart. Right, right. I have worked at Walmart before I was in New York and I was in Um, so you're in here at this John Weissman, Western Mass Jobs with Justice. You're inside at this uh, Walmart information session. What's, what are you doing here? What's happening? We're uh, dialoguing with people who are in favor of the Walmart and hoping that they are convinced by the fact sheet to be against the Walmart. So who are you? Uh, my name is Mark Griffenberg. I'm running for Holyoke City Council at large. Um, I'm here today against the Walmart at this Walmart event. Uh, basically, I believe that the Walmart project in Holyoke is a good way to stop all the progress we're making. You know, we're, we're at a point in Holyoke's history where we have the opportunity to move forward, and a Walmart plan sets the entire city back. It sets us back all the years of progress we've been making, and it's not something we can really afford right now as a community. So when people say, but wait a minute, you know, I, I have limited income and I need to buy things. I need stuff for my kids to go to school. Walmart has the cheapest prices. What's your answer to that? Well, I mean, the fact of the matter is, if the Walmart comes into Holyoke, they're going to be hurting a lot more after that comes in than they would be if it didn't come in at all. For example, let's say they have a job at Kmart Plaza in that strip. That job's gone once Walmart comes in. And we lose all the tax revenue from that entire plaza. Because you can bet that once Walmart comes in, that plaza's gone. Because all those businesses would not be able to stand. So that would, we, that would kind of put a squeeze on us to raise more money as a city. And it would take away all the money we were already getting. So we'd make a gain of $300,000, but only at an expense of however much tax revenue we're taking in from that uh, strip. So it puts us at a net loss and in a bad situation. Thank you.